for the uh, EFD group, Mr Farage. President, we're in the midst of an economic and increasingly humanitarian crisis, and yet Commission President Barroso is not here. Indeed, Herman Van Rompuy is not here either. Not that it really matters, because they're not prepared to listen to any debate or any argument. They're intent on pursuing their political dream of a United States of Europe. They're prepared to commit economic suicide for an entire continent. And tomorrow night, Mr Van Rompuy has called yet another summit, at which he's going to present a strategy for growth and jobs. Elected MEPs, representatives of the people of Europe, from left and right, we've heard it all before. Remember, the euro itself was supposed to create growth and jobs, and yet it is actively destroying both of those things. The remedy we're being offered is more of the same. I would suggest that the medicine is killing the patient, and to increase the dosage is madness. And don't listen to those who will tell you that the only alternative is for Greece to stay in the euro. Everyone's pushing this. David Cameron, all the other leaders are saying, we must keep Greece in the euro. If she leaves, the sky will fall in. It won't. There will be a few difficult weeks, and then things will settle down. There will be a boom in tourism. Investment will start to come back into Greece. Innovation will start to come back into Greece as people start making products to beat expensive imports. Indeed, Greece outside of the Eurozone may well provide to be an, an inspiration for Spain, for Portugal and many other countries. We need to recognise that a terrible mistake has been made. We must resolve to put it right. We've got to give people hope because out there now is absolute despair. We all remember Dimitris Christoulis, the 77-year-old former pharmacist who shot himself dead outside the Greek parliament. But he is just one of a growing humanitarian disaster. Huge increases in suicides in Italy, in Greece, particularly from people running small businesses who cannot see a way out of the problem. Children being left in increasing numbers outside the doors of churches because they can't afford to feed them. Our leaders are too callous to listen and care. You can do something about this. You can rise up and say, and I know in my conversations with you that many of you agree with me that I'm right. We've got to break up the euro. We've got to restore democracy. We've got to restore human dignity. We must ignore Messrs Barroso and Van Rompuy. They have been proved to be wrong. We must provide people with hope. A question has been put to you by Mr. Papa Nicolaou. Are you prepared to take the question? Mr. Papa Nicolaou, please. Thank you very much, President. Well, I listened uh, very carefully to what Mr. Farage said. And he once again reiterated his position that Greece should leave the Eurozone. And we'll go back to the drachma, its own national currency. And then everything goes better, tourism takes off, and so on. Well, Mr. Farage, if that were to happen, if Greece were to readopt the drachma, would it be undervalued or not? Would it be de- devalued? I mean, you know, what about the price of fuel, for example? It'll go up three or four times, won't it? Please tell the truth. Tell us all the truth. ACMA would probably be 50 to 60 percent lower than its current value in the euro, something like that. Uh, now, clearly, um, I'm not advocating that we move to a new fixed peg. I'm advocating floating currency rates because history shows us that every time we try to fix currency pegs, we get it wrong. The risk, of course, is that the cost of imports would rise, which is why I said that what it would also lead to is innovation in Greece as people started to make products to undercut the price of foreign imports. But I tell you what it would give. It would give Greece a chance, because stuck inside the euro, you are going to be literally destroyed.